Uh, I think we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, today we're going to spend uh, the whole session doing the figurative language review. This is going to be an online um, quiz, essentially, for looking at different examples of figurative language. Now, before you begin, I want you to realize that this is going to be the first of three times that we're going to that you're going to have to apply this review. So this first review typically is the hardest. And so don't worry about, about the grade. All right. Because I want you to try to answer each of these questions as best you can. There are a lot of examples of figurative language, right? I realize that, but do your best. Try, try to answer each of the items. You're going to be provided an example of figurative language. So from that, those examples, you'll choose from a drop down menu that uh, where you're asked to select the type of figurative language that it is. Remember that the purpose of Unit 4, writing uh, poems, is to try to incorporate or include different examples of figurative language. So be thinking about that, especially this week when we're working on Tonkas and St. Cain's. All right, so I want to get into it. The link to the online uh, review can be found in Microsoft Teams. I just posted the link. It should be open. I'm going to stay online. I'm going to mute my mic, but I'm going to be online for anyone who has questions or issues about accessing the on the online uh, review. But uh, we're not going to have any other uh, thing to, to to work on or discuss today. I want to give you the entire session to complete the uh, review. All right. So we're going to have about 50 minutes to complete the review again. Don't worry about the, the grade. We're, next week, we're going to uh, have another opportunity to, to take it again. This is to give you an idea about which of the figurative, um, figurative language, the examples of the figurative language that you see in the review, which of these are familiar to you and which ones might you uh, review a little bit more uh, for, for this week, thinking about going into next week. All right. So... Go ahead and begin. Again, I'm going to mute my mic. You should be able to find the link in Microsoft Teams. You will need to sign in with your Edu account. Okay, so uh, once you sign in, you should be able to go right into the form to complete the review. You should be able to do this on any device. Most students use their cell phones when we offer this review uh, in class, uh, face to face. All students were using their phones, so that it should work for you. But I'll be online if you have any questions or issues about accessing uh, the review. All right. And I would recommend if you do have questions to go ahead and unmute your mic because I won't be looking directly at the chat uh, the entire time. So just to catch my attention, it's best to unmute your mic with any questions or issues that you have accessing the link. Again, you can find the link. You should be able to find it in Microsoft Teams under our our space under the posts section. I just posted the link to the review. So go ahead and begin if you haven't already. And again, just uh, jump in if you have any questions. If anybody has a question about accessing today's online review, just jump in and uh, ask your question. I'll be here. I'm going to mute my mic now, but I'll be here for any doubts or questions that you have uh, for accessing the link. All of you should be able to access it within Microsoft Teams. And uh, you should be able to open up a form that has uh, the review. Teacher, is this like a test or something similar? A quiz? Okay, so this is uh, what I usually do with this. It's a quiz, right, if you want to think of it as a quiz. But I don't want you to be worried about the grade of this first attempt because I'm going to apply this review uh, probably three times for the, uh, between now and the end of the semester. So this is our first attempt. Next week we're going to do it again. Try to answer as best you, you can based on what you remember each of these figurative uh, language uh, examples. And uh, next week, we're going to do the same review again. So try to answer the questions and the examples 
so that you can see which of the figurative language, which of the examples you feel that you need more review on. Um, but this is going to be the first of three attempts that you'll have to complete uh, this review. Teacher. Yes, uh, go ahead, uh, Elizabeth. Can we leave questions in blank? Well, because there are a lot of terms that I really hadn't heard before. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question again? Oh, the, if, well, can we leave questions without answering uh, each one should be an example of one of the drop-down lists um, so there should be uh, one correct answer for each item and uh, the items were from the list uh, the website uh, that we looked at the figurative language website does that does that answer your question or Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay. All right, guys, I think we'll uh, stop there for today. Um, I will send out the results, uh, your grades, and we'll upload those uh, to to uh, the virtual classroom. Again, we these are just... Submitted, teacher? Uh, there should be, I or think, the last I button at the bottom maybe is to submit. Do you see a button at the bottom? I don't recall if there's a submit button, but I think there is. Yes, it is. Should we click yeah, on so it? just, yes, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead and submit once you've completed the uh, review. And again, we're going to do this again next week, right? So uh, we're going to have the similar uh, review next week. So make sure that you are constantly taking a look at the different types of figurative language. Try to keep uh, including some examples of figurative language in the poems that we're working on. Some of you have been sending me messages to take a look at your tankas and senkanes, so keep uh, sending me requests if you want me to look at your progress or if you have questions. But try to make sure that you're following the structure, as we talked about yesterday, for each of those two poems, and also try to uh, bring in as much figurative language uh, as possible. All right, guys. All right, I think we'll stop there for today. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Uh, I didn't answer some of them, so I can submit the survey. What should I do? Uh, let me check here. OK, can you submit now, uh, Kato? No, teacher. No? Okay. Well, uh, just consider this a practice run, all right? Uh, each of these uh, reviews are going to be timed, and so uh, we'll, we'll do the review again next week. So, again, just continue reviewing your um, those different examples of figurative language, and we'll have another opportunity next week to uh, complete basically the same review, all right? So if I didn't submit it, because I, I didn't answer like some of them and I call them, what should I do? Nothing? Mm, yeah, don't worry about it. You'll have another opportunity next week to uh, complete the review again. Okay, so just continue reviewing and um, you'll have another opportunity next week to complete the review.
Okay, teacher. Thank All you. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, teacher.